I'm me, you're you, and our school news. The Dolphin Daily starts now. The Dolphin Daily is back, Ripples. We're glad you and your teachers have chosen to tune into our broadcast so that you know what's happening at FMA. Let's get right to our news. First, let's extend a warm welcome to Ms. Hawkins, who has joined with staff in the FMA Media Center. She comes to us from Mirror Lakes and has lots to offer us. So, when you get a chance to meet her, make sure that you give a good, positive first impression. We also welcome Mr. Eduardo, our new 6th grade science teacher, and Ms. Miller, our new 6th grade social studies teacher. Next is literacy week. In Florida, what is literacy? Literacy has to do with the ability to read or write. It also relates to the knowledge in a, in a certain or specific subject. This week we'll focus on reading and writing literacy. In your classes, you'll have plenty of opportunities to show that you are a literate person who can read and write. As we start the collaboration of literacy, let's think about th these words from Kofi An Annan, the former Secretary General of the United Nations. Literacy is the means through which every man, woman, and child can reach his or f her full potential. Think about it and set your, s set your sights accordingly. Now on to some additional information of the school. It's the beginning of the third quarter, and as many as you know, have been asking and making changes to your elective courses. Students, as we announced last, last week, here is the deal. You may make a request to change in elective classes by getting the schedule change request right here from one of your teachers. Complete the form, get your parents' signature, and return it to the school ASAP. Dr. Fitzpatrick and our Miss Campbell will, will be in the cafeteria during all lunch shifts to process elective classes changes during the week. You must have your parents' signature. We will remind you of this process during the week. But please know that the deadline for making these requests is Friday, January 29th. Got it? If you have any questions, please ask one of one of our, your teachers or Miss Campbell. Mark your calendar for a very, very important date. As a matter of fact, take out your agenda books right now and write this down. Every student must be bring their Chromebook and their charger to school on Monday, February 8th. Everyone, do, do we say everyone? Did we say Chromebook and charger? Make sure you remember. We will be starting into our testing session and beginning Monday, February 8th. We will be testing out the technology in what is called the, the infrastructure test. Write it down, remember. Thanks for your excellent cooperation. What was that date? Uh, right, Monday, February 8th. Remember, bring your Chromebook and your charger. Many students, many students have asked about dress code updates. Please take a moment to look at the FMA website to see the new revised edition of the FMA dress code. Changes are minor, but you might be interested to see what they are. Again, those updates are posted on our website. And please don't be discouraged. Eighth graders, please be aware that on Thursday morning, you will be treated to a morning long event called Junior Achievement in a Day. Your teachers will have more information about schedule modifications. It's going to be awesome. Make sure you bring your best and most inquisitive, interested behavior with you that day. And that's about it for the, today's edition of the Dolphin Daily. As always, we are glad that you've tuned in so that you can be informed about school and society happenings right here in FMA. We encourage you, your friends 
and colleagues to watch the news during fourth period every day, the whole school week, and to watch it a second time on our YouTube channel. It does pay to be informed. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Now, make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.